Hello everybody, I am CEO Matthew 6 and today I have a special video for you. Not only am I making a throwback video to Call of Duty Black Ops to uh, celebrate the soon release of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 coming out in less than two months, but it's also September, and it's almost October actually, and you know what that means, college application time. Um, I am currently a freshman at Cooper Union, and I just want to give you guys some tips on how to get into college. Now, these tips are going to vary depending on what kind of schools you're shooting for. If you're shooting for low-tier schools or, like, community colleges or any college that you've heard on on the radio, um, this video really isn't for you. Uh, this is really for mid, uh, mid-tier state schools to uh, higher-tier schools and even to Ivy League schools. Um, so... If you're interested in shooting high, then this video is for you. If you're not, I'm sorry, you're kind of out of luck. I really don't like pandering to the low-tier school people just because they've been jerks to me all my life, and I hate them. Um, so let's talk about getting into college. Well, the first thing you need to do is make sure that all of your uh, academics are fine. Uh, that's always the uh, most important thing is to make sure that your GPA is high enough that your college will even look at you. If your GPA is too low, they're probably just going to ignore you and tell you to fuck off. So, if you're like a junior or younger, the best thing you want to do is focus on your academics and most importantly, get a lot of sleep. This probably isn't what you want to be doing, but I completely eradicated what remnants of my social life that I had during my junior year and I decided to invest it in sleeping. And it paid off. My GPA went up uh, about like a tenth of a point from like a 4.3 to a 4.4. And um, it, it, it helped. Sleeping prepares you for tests. And if you can get a good night's sleep, you're going to do better. And that's why I had done so well my junior year, whereas a lot of my friends did not really. Um... The second thing you want to do is make sure your SAT score is decent. If you're applying to a mid-tier school, you want to make sure it's about 1,800 to 2,000-ish. If you can get higher than that, then that's awesome. But if it's like 1,650 to 1,700, you're really going to need to shore that up if you want to be competitive. If you're applying to a high-tier school, definitely from 2,100 to 2,300 is the range that you want to set for yourself. Uh, if you can get somewhere within there, you're going to be fine. And if you're playing to Ivy Leagues, as long as you crack 2300, they're really not going to care what your score is because you obviously have proven yourself. All of your three scores are going to be above 700. And you're pretty much set. So the thing about getting into college, and this is just going to be for a high tier or an Ivy League college right now, is to make sure that you set yourself apart from the rest of the crowd. You can go in there telling everyone that you're well-rounded, saying you have a 4.8 GPA, a 2360 SAT score, and 12 extracurricular activities, two jobs, volunteering experience, blah, 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 blah community service, and all that jazz. If you say you are well-rounded, you are not going to get into that college. I will tell you that right now. Ivy Leagues do not want well-rounded students. You need to have grades, SAT scores, and extracurriculars, but if you say you are well-rounded, you are not getting in. And you want to know why? Because they have to be selective. And they need to choose the best students for the job. And if everyone says they're well-rounded, they're going to look the same. And it's just going to be a crapshoot. So what you need to do is differentiate yourself from everyone else. And the way to do that is to pick something about yourself that makes you stand out. Which separates you from the rest of the uh, applicant pool. And if you come off as a born leader or a, uh, a super nerd or uh, a thespian or uh, something like that, I don't even know, um, you need to be specialized. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Specialize in something. And even if you're not specialized in something, but you, it looks like you could, say you're specialized in that and then just switch your major after you get in because you're probably not going to be locked into one. Unless you're going to Cornell. But that's a different story. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's it. So, if you want to get into college, if you want to get into an Ivy, you have to separate yourself from the rest of the crowd 
And don't call me an idiot or anything, because I actually know what I'm talking about. I'm not, like, some kind of admissions genius, but I know how to play the game. Um, that's why I'm going to Cooper Union. Anyways, uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you like my Black Ops 2 uh, Rampage with the M60. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. I will see you in the next video. I have no clue what that is. Maybe Team Fortress, maybe COD. But until then, I am out. Have a good one.